Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart, playing Edward and Bella from Twilight. We're so excited to have you guys here. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, thanks, thanks for you. having us. <laughs> well, I'll start with you, Robert. Um, Robert, this is the second major literary character that you've been playing that are some of the most imaginative series of the last hundred years. That's a lot of responsibility. How did you feel in terms of playing Edward knowing that you kind of had that backbone of playing Cedric Diggory before. I mean, did it help you kind of get into this role of understanding that literary character going from page to screen? Uh, no, I mean, I always just look at... It's probably a bad way of doing it, but I mean, I, I, th I mean, it's so different. You can't really play the book, so I mean, I was playing the script. I mean, I just always use a book for um, just material, you know, just, and you can pick and choose whatever, whatever you want. And especially for Twilight, there's so much stuff. I mean, you've got like an encyclopedia of stuff that you can draw from. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I guess I kind of just used it to, as, as, as a helpful tool. I had heard that you'd actually taken some time and uh, kind of put yourself away for a while to kind of feel that sense of loneliness and that sense of being on your own. And do you think that that helps you kind of get prepared prior to? Uh, starting? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, yeah, it did. It really did. I mean, I had to change. Like, I mean, I had a very, very strict idea of what I wanted to, how I wanted to play it, and it changed pretty much on the first shot on the first day, like to almost the polar opposite. Mm -hmm. Like, um, but yeah, I mean, I guess I, I mean, whenever you put you know a bit of effort into anything, it always ends up being a little bit better. Yeah. Hope. <laughs> and Kristen, with you, um, what was it about this character that attracted you when you first read that script? Um. Well, I mean, it's definitely like a desirable character to play. She's a sort of average girl that gets swept into something that is sort of unimaginable for her. But it wasn't really Bella per se. It's the relationship. It's like it's otherworldly. I've never, you know. Did you like playing both sides of that? You know, the romance and at the same time being vulnerable, but then being strong as a female. Right. Yeah. I mean, Bella definitely is. She's the damsel in distress, but she's not a complete... I mean, the thing that's great about the story is that they're both willing to die for each other. And that, it takes a really strong person. Or whatever, it takes somebody swept up in something stronger than them. I mean, um, that's what I liked about it, but it was just sort of like, I've never felt that way, you know? Like, yeah. And then with this role, how do you now feel knowing that, you know, you're on the cover of Vanity Fair, you are one of those rising stars of Hollywood, I mean, did you know this role was going to take you to that level next? Um, I didn't initially. It became very obvious to everybody at a certain point. You know, we started the film and um, just like the whole phenomenon that is Twilight, I became aware. I didn't know about it. Um, so, you know, uh, it's, I think it's better that way. I think I, I probably wouldn't have done it. And I'm glad that I did. I'm really glad that I did. Yeah. Um, Robert, the vampires of Twilight are not your typical coffin sleeping, garlic loathing type of vampire. There's a certain depth and variety to it. How did you develop your own vampiric qualities when you're getting in this role of Twilight? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just I, I preferred seeing uh, vampirism as a kind of uh, incurable disease rather than just you just are a vampire. I mean, I mean, I just abandon all cliche and just and just go on what the facts of what uh, their characteristics are. I mean, you're a thousand times stronger and faster than a human being. You live forever, and you have a constant desire to feed on humans' blood. And I guess I just sort of thought, like, well, okay, well, if you're just a normal guy, I and mean, then suddenly something happens, someone bites you, and you end up like that. Like, how, you know, how you, how, how would you live? And I guess there was some certain physical things as well um, to, to look uh, stronger and faster or whatever. But at the same time, he, I mean, if they're moving around at light speed all the time, then people would notice. And, you know, I, I thought about, you know, like straining, like looking strained when you're trying to move like a normal human being. Because if you could get from here to there in a second, you just would. You wouldn't just walk. So I, I tried to do little things like that. How about Catherine Hardwick as the director there? I mean, she had done 13 and Lords of Dogtown, and now she was taking her, her cues with Twilight. Catherine did for me. I mean, I had a tendency with Edward just to keep going darker and darker and darker and, like, really, you know, just thinking how uh, just kind of... When, when, when Bella comes into his life, 
he was just so emotionally like stagnant and fossilized um, that I was thinking initially when she came in I, I, he would just kind of go crazy and it's just that your emotion I mean if you if, if you haven't really felt anything for 80 years and then suddenly you're feeling everything again like like a hundred times more uh, than you would under normal circumstances I mean I just thought that he would be so desperate all the time and obviously like watching somebody <laughs> desperate like suicidal all the time is not so Catherine helped just lighten it up like a bit because um, he is kind of light in the book <laughs> like really I just kept seeing him I, know, I just kind of have a tendency to <laughs> make him more depressed and so Catherine kind of helped with that stay away from that what do you think Robert brought to the role that added that certain character of making Edward that much more human or that much more intense oh, he just totally explained it um, I, the book is written in a way that you could take like what's on the surface it's all very obvious you know it's like this perfect man and you know she's completely in love with him and he's confident and suave and opens her door but if you look at their circumstances, it's just not, I mean, this does not facilitate happy people. Um, <laughs> so, if you knew that, he got that. I mean, like, like, we did a really classic, like, you know, conventional audition process. I auditioned for it, and then I read with guys, and um, he was just the only one that came in uh, that had any, that, that looked like they were thinking about something other than, I'm on camera looking handsome. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for bringing that romance to the screen, and thank you for bringing Twilight to us. So thank you very much. We appreciate it.